So, the term Nepo baby, you've heard it? Okay. Uh, it's sometimes used as a dig for celebrities who have famous parents. But Gwyneth Paltrow, she's a lovely person. Her mom is an actress, Blythe Danner, oh, and her Blythe father Danner. was producer Bruce Paltrow, a famous producer, TV yeah. producer. And she told the website Bustle, whatever that is, you ever understand? <laughs> I have heard of it. You have heard of it There's as well. There's so many so websites. <laughs> She said that Nepo babies only get a bad rap in show business because no one has a problem with a kid who wants to follow in their parents' footsteps and be a doctor or a lawyer. Does she have a point yeah, there? Yeah, she, she does. does. Because they're family businesses all over the place. I mean, our warm-up comedian, um, uh, Regina DiCicco, she has DiCicco and Sons, her She's family. a Nepo baby? She's a Nepo baby. <laughs> no, she's she went up comedy she's a route. She's a Nepo baby. I buy my Thanksgiving turkey from her family. <laughs> and I mean, you know, Manny... She's my... working here. She's not a Nepo baby. If she's she worked there, she'd be a Nepo but, baby. But, but she, I'm sure, she, I'm sure you get a little cut. Um, and the other thing is, you know, I mean, Manny, my husband's in the audience, he's built a practice. There it is. would be wonderful if our son or our daughter took nope. over the Practice. Sure. It's not going to happen, <laughs> but I would love for them to take over the family businesses. Uh-huh. So, well, uh. Oh, go ahead. Let me talk about Nepo babies. <clears throat> release, wait, release the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't think anybody questions Gwyneth Paltrow. There is no doubt that having rich, connected parents gives you a leg up in life, whatever right. the profession may be. And, and I think uh, parents some often work to be able to be that connected. Yeah. Nobody has an issue with a Gwyneth Paltrow or a Lisa, a Lisa Minnelli or a Mitt Romney. These are people who may have started off as a Nepo baby, who may have started off with doors opening because of who their father or their mother was, but who worked, who've earned it, who've shown talent, right. who've had yes. merits, who've risen up because of what they've done. Yeah. The people who give Nepo babies a bad name are the people who start every sentence with my father or my mother, are the people who are talented dolts, and instead of being humble and grateful for the opportunities they are given because they won the ovarian lottery, <laughs> are toxic brats entitled and privileged who make everybody's life hell because they know they can't be fired because of who they are. Yes. Okay. <laughs> two types of Nepo babies. Yes. There are Nepo babies that act like that, and then there are Nepo babies that come in and don't want, they, they work twice as hard because yes. they know that they have that leg up. Those people are some of the best in the room yes. yeah. because they need to prove themselves. And I've worked with some of those people occasionally. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> They're amazing. Not here. They're the other one. Well, and I, okay, I, I was gonna say like Alison Williams is an example too. Brian Williams' daughter, amazing actress. She was in Girls. Mm -hmm. But she acknowledges the doors that were open Opened and then actually used her own talent and rode that. It's like, I think if you acknowledge the privilege yeah. that comes with nepotism and then you work twice as hard, that's really all that matters. Yeah, but it's, it's the saying, entitlement yeah. that is the problem. Don't you want every generation of your family to do better than the last? Yes. That, my father always taught me that. Yeah. You do better than I did. Right. Yeah. Your kid should do better. And well, in this country, pretend, it hasn't been happening. Let's not pretend you hit a home run when you're born on third base, okay? Let's get real. That's true. <laughs> I wasn't born I mean, on I got third a job base, as, a, as a receptionist at Good Morning America. You got when fired, I was like 40 fired. years old, I didn't know. I, and you 40 years fired. old because, <laughs> because my ex-husband's cousin was the lighting director over there. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even gotten that job. How did you get mm -hmm. fired from it, though? That's another oh, comment. She's a little cranky for a receptionist. You know, it's she her birthday. She had one job. I have